Hi Switch Up family and welcome back to the channel. Somehow you have helped us get to over 180,000 subs and we're on our way to 200,000 which is crazy. We're going to be speaking to a few developers and trying to get some codes so that we can have a massive 200,000 giveaway special. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the content. It's that time again where we look at the weekly sales, the best ones, the worst ones and yeah, hopefully we can pick out some hidden gems for you. Also, hopefully some of you heard that we got a channel sponsor finally, Pixel Heart, who make physical games for the Nintendo Switch and other platforms. And we've also got a nice chunky little discount for you. I believe it's 15%. I'll pop a link to that in the top pin comment if you want to go check it out using the code SWITCHUPSHING. So what's on sale this week? Well, let's find out. I actually remember going to buy Onimusha when it first came out back on PlayStation way back in the day. I forget what year it was, but it was a great game. It had slightly clunky controls, so if you imagine the old Resident Evils where you had those tank controls, i.e. you move left and right and it kind of rotates your character and then you press forward to move forward, it kind of adopted that which didn't work great, but the combat was excellent. It had such a good story though. And this version's got the original games, same sword play, gameplay, and great story, but they have actually improved those controls, which is a really nice little touch. It's got widescreen, which the original never had. It's got a new soundtrack. And overall, it's just an a better enhanced version of the original good game. It's 9.6 gigabytes. It'll take you around about 10 hours to complete it. But at 60% off, at just £6.39, or your regional equivalent, it's well worth that until June the 14th. There are a few games as I was growing up that just didn't get the recognition they deserved and it's it's either to do with the gameplay or it's to do with terrible marketing. And I think Starlink Battle for Atlas is one that falls into that latter category. The toys just didn't make much sense to people, they didn't know if they needed them or not. But it's nice to see that it has actually been well received after the fact and it's a very good game. It has elements of things like No Man's Sky in there, you've got the freedom to move between the different planets, and yeah, just don't worry about having to have those little toy figures, you, you just don't need it. It's currently at its lowest ever price, and you can buy the normal edition or the digital deluxe edition. Well worth it, it has a 16GB download, and that sale goes on until about the end of the month. I don't think this next adventure is a hidden gem as such, but I still know there are a lot of people that haven't played it. It's called Submerged. Now, it's in a sunken world, and thankfully, and one that's a little bit more interesting than, <laughs> than Waterworld, which actually is a bit of a classic, but one of the siblings is unwell, and you've got to go and try and find a, some cure for them. You sail around the different buildings. There's a little bit of puzzle platforming in here as well, but it's a very slow-paced, relaxing game and I am more than down with that. You're looking at a reasonably small 841 megabytes and quite a short story as well. It's around five hours to complete. It's 85% off though, so it's just over a quid. About the price Tesco's now charge you for a carrier bag. I carumba. This is a ridiculous deal, £3.77 for Bleed and Bleed 2. Forget what you think about the visuals, you might think, oh this looks rubbish, it's amazing. It's a side-scrolling, two-player co-op, run-and-gun shooter where you're trying to save your pet cat. I mean, I don't need to say any more than that. It's brilliant, it's got some great boss fights, it's very slick, it's very funny. And yeah, man, that's a crazy price. £3.77. It obviously has one or two player offline co-op. It's got a small download size of 406 megs at 85% off for the two. A real steal. That sale goes on until June the 22nd. And man, yeah, very good value for money. £3.77. Well worth it. We're hopping over the pond now to the US regions. 
Remember, it's very easy to set up a USE shop for downloading games from their sales. You just buy a card and then redeem the card and then use the money from that to make your purchases. That might sound a bit more complex, but actually it's fine. Take you about 10, maybe 15 minutes. And the first one that needs mentioning is this War of Mine, the complete edition, which is 90% off. That's just stupid. Takes it down to $3.99 and is an outstanding game from 11-bit studios that is more than worth that price. This one puts you in charge of a group of survivors who are trying to live out their daily lives during a conflict. You can send them out on runs to collect supplies but it's super dangerous. And where this one really excels is in the small details, so there's lots of small storytelling segments that will absolutely have you hooked. It's, it's quite harrowing at times this game, and I know harrowing probably might not be for everyone, but if you want a mature experience that will really test your survival skills but also your moral and decision making ones uh, then this might be the one for you and for that price it's just unbelievable it's around 30 hours of content here four gigs to download and that sale goes on until june the 23rd blasphemous is still on sale in all regions until the 17th how did i just say regions <laughs> That came out slightly odd, but it's a very good game. And in fact, I think it seems to have gained more of a following after launch, which is so often the case. It's a hack and slash action adventure Souls-like hybrid. Uh, yeah. Well, you play as the penitent one, who is the sole survivor of the massacre of the Silent Sorrow. It's seen quite a few updates and patches since it released. There are some brutal finishing moves you can do and some great little boss fights here as well. It's not without its flaws, as is always the case. We do have a full review of this one if you want to go check that out. I'm going to pop a link to that in the description for a change, but I think it's a very good game and actually I like it more than the scores sometimes these are given and I think that even goes for our review as well. That's the case, isn't it? Sometimes you just like a game warts and all. That would make a good list. Yeah. I like that. I think I'm actually, I think Glenn mentioned that the other day. All right. Well, this one, if I stop waffling for five seconds, is 60% off. That's until June the 17th. It'll take you about 25 hours to complete. And it's a 5.9 gig download. Glenn reviewed Yoku's Island Express for us on the channel, but for whatever reason, I just haven't played it until this week. It's delightful. It's a Metroidvania it's merged together with pinball and then stuck on this cutesy island it's amazing it's a very good game all the mechanics work really well there are loads of different abilities that you gradually unlock and new power-ups and it's got a nice story which in all honesty a pinball metroidvania hybrid with a cute beetle yeah i didn't see that happening and this one's from team 17 and was developed by villa gorilla it's a small little 1.4 gigabyte download it's a reasonable size at about 10 to 12 hours to complete it but yeah this is a great game well worth it really will put a smile on your face that sale goes on until june the 17th and that is 75 percent off Heads up on the Assassin's Creed 3 remaster. I know this game wasn't for everyone and a lot of people preferred 4. I really liked it. I thought the story of Connor was excellent. I like that you have that childhood sequence. And the best thing about it is that it's been all patched up. It runs so much better than it did at launch. It has gyro controls for aiming. And it's also got the Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, so which is an entirely new storyline with a new character and it's well worth picking up even if you didn't play that just playing through that storyline is decent i'm starting to really hope that we see the Ezio collection come to the switch i feel like it's the right time now i mean we've had all the other ones i don't really know why we haven't had those ones uh, and i personally really like assassin's creed 2 so that would be nice there is a free additional playable missions pack dlc for this one as well which i don't think everyone knows so make sure you download that if you do pick it up. It's 60% off until June the 15th. All right, and this is the time each week where we look at one hidden gem. And it's also usually the point at which someone that's going, ah, oh, there's nothing for me this week, suddenly goes, oh no, <laughs> that actually looks quite interesting. And this week's hidden gem is a game called Mugsters. It's a very unusual game. It's a top-down physics-based action game. There are over 30 different types of vehicles that you can use, but you can approach the problems in different ways. It's very cool playing this one in local co-op as well if you have someone to play with, and it's just a really odd game, but also kind of quirky and very fun. It's 1.1 gigabytes to download, 
and that's available on sale until June the 17th. Right, this is now where we look at the two games you should avoid because they smell like old rotten cheese. And first up then we've got Void Space Racing. This game has systematically been reduced in price. Down and down and down it's tumbled to its all time low, which was 10 cents. But it's currently $1.99 on sale and it's just such a bad game. The principle of it's nice, the idea of racing through space in zero G, but the controls are just horrible. It's really painful to play, very frustrating and quite unforgiving. So I think you should do yourself a favor and potentially avoid void space racing. And then there's Paranautical Activity, which holds a current Metacritic rating from users of 1.8. <laughs> wow. And it has been on sale every month since it was launched, usually for a huge amount so that people think, yeah, this is decent, but it's terrible. It's a first person action roguelite, which should be good, but unfortunately on Switch, it's a nightmare. It's horrible. It doesn't control well. It's very clunky. The procedural generation isn't exactly inspired. And I found the soundtrack to be an audio torture session like nothing I'd experienced. It's 434 megs, so that's, that's a bonus. Other than that, nope. Stay well clear of this one. And that is it for this week. Another sale. Another week. I think it's quite a decent one, this one. Let me know in the comments if you picked anything up. Remember, we give away a free Nintendo Switch game each and every week. So well done to the winner this week. Your name will be in the top comment. Thanks, as always, to the patron saints. You guys support us. And if you want to join them, the links will all be down in the description. You can do so from... I think you can do it. I think you can just follow for free. But you can support from any amount, I believe. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya.